Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they turn and camp before Pihahiroth, between Migdal and the sea, opposite Baal Zephon. You shall camp before it by the sea. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, They are bewildered by the land. The wilderness has closed them in. Then I will harden Pharaoh's heart so that he will pursue them. And I will gain honor over Pharaoh and over all his army, that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And they did so. Now it was told the king of Egypt that the people had fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and his servants was turned against the people. And they said, Why have we done this, that we have let Israel go from serving us? So he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. Also he took six hundred choice chariots and all the chariots of Egypt with captains over every one of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he pursued the children of Israel, and the children of Israel went out with boldness. So the Egyptians pursued them, all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, his horsemen and his army, and overtook them camping by the sea beside Pihahiroth before Baal Zephon. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. So they were very afraid, and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. Then they said to Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, have you taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you so dealt with us to bring us up out of Egypt? Is this not the word that we told you in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward, but lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I indeed will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them. So I will gain honor over Pharaoh and over all his army, his chariots and his horsemen. Then the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gained honor for myself over Pharaoh, his chariots, and his horsemen. Exodus chapter 14, verses 1 through 18. Moses brings the whole nation of Israel, approximately 600,000 people, to a dead end in the desert. The only thing between Israel and Pharaoh's pursuing army is the Red Sea. This is after the ten plagues God inflicts on Pharaoh to motivate him to free the Israelites. Finally, Pharaoh frees Moses and the people, and they leave Egypt. They think they are home free. Freedom at last, they cry. But God does a strange thing. He directs Moses to take a route that leads to the Red Sea instead of the northern route around the Red Sea. God explains that he does not want them fighting the enemies they would have encountered on this route. But still, there is the issue of the Red Sea. They finally arrive at the Red Sea, and the people are wondering where they will go from there. News hits the camp. Pharaoh has changed his mind. He is coming after them with his army. Panic sets in. God sometimes brings each of us to a Red Sea in our life. It may be a work problem that cannot be easily solved. It may be a marriage that seems to be failing. It may be a debilitating disease. Whatever our Red Sea, God tells us one thing. Keep moving. The Red Sea is before them, yet God is angered at Moses and tells him to keep moving. But Lord, the Red Sea is before me. Keep moving. When we live by sight, we act on what we see. God sets this stage in dramatic fashion. God is into the dramatic. There is no way out without God here. That is just the way he wants it. No one will get glory except God. What about you today? Are you willing and ready to keep moving? Will you keep investing yourself in others, even when you may be discouraged by the seemingly insurmountable obstacles in your path? There is great healing when we look past our own problems and seek to invest ourselves in others for the sake of Christ. This is when our own Red Seas become parted. We begin to walk to freedom, but we will never experience the miracle of the Red Sea in our lives if we don't first keep moving.